Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation of Marble League Baseball. I'm your host Marv, alongside me is Joe. Hey Mark, I'm real excited to be here today. We can all share in that excitement as we introduce our first team, the Untouchables. I gotta say Marv, I love that movie. It's a classic. Indeed it is, Joe. That starting pitcher is Rudy Davidson. Pitching in Marble League Baseball isn't about stats, it's about standing firm on defense. That's a good thing because Ruby's stats aren't all that great to look at. At first base, it's Martin LeBlanc. I love this guy, Marv. He's got good arm strength and he can run. Second base will be stationed by Beverly Hall. Beverly has good reflexes and a strong arm. She's just made for second base, Marv. She can cover that side of the infield and force the offense to go to the left side. At shortstop is Vihan Fuller, another athlete with a high defensive rating. Marv, the untouchables are incredibly dangerous from the infield. If you want to score runs on these guys, you got to go deep. We find Rebecca Washington on third base. Rebecca is actually a descendant of George Washington. Uh-oh, we better get rid of all the cherry trees, Marv. <clears throat> Rounding out infield is Cameron Lee, the catcher. Is the camera on or the camera off? Joe, seriously. What? Carson Chamberlain calls left field home. This guy's got a cannon for an arm. Not only that, but his name starts with K. That's not something you see every day. Kevin, Kyle, Kathleen, Kristen, Katie. Oh, right. Let's head over to center field, covered by Karina Norris, also spelled with a K. Okay, Morg, we get it. Last but not least, we have Jethro Justice in right field. I love this guy's name, Jethro Justice. I enjoy alterations. Alterations? You mean alliterations? Exactly. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Untouchables. Now let's meet their opponents, the Sons of Pitches. My in-laws are real Sons of Pitches. Joe, this is a family-friendly show. On the mound is Myra Vance, starting pitcher. You know, Joe, that reminds me of this one time. Okay, moving on. Behind the plate is catcher Elise Swan. E-L-L-I-C-E? -L -L -E. Somebody gotta tell her. They spelled that wrong. No, no they did not. And you can hear it at first base is fan favorite Malika Elias. Wow, the crowd is really responding to her and she is loving it. Making our way around the bases, we find Zara Buxton on second. The Sons of Pitches are really more of an overall defensive team. And that starts with at second base with Zara Buxton. Around the bend at shortstop is Rosie Coleman. Another defender with a cannon of an arm. That can make up for a lot. The stellar defense continues with Afsana Radical Reed. Offsana does have radical athleticism. She can make plays on offense and defense. Caleb Hopkins can be found in left field, and he is an interesting player. With so many good skills, what sets them apart, Joe? Combination of defense and throwing make him formidable. Add in the base running, and he's downright dangerous. Abdi McDaniel is in center, anchoring the outfield. Joe? What? What do you mean, what? Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. 
And finally, in right field, we see Maddox Thatcher. And before Joe gets another chance to talk, we'll say good night. And be sure to like and subscribe. And join us next time for inning number one.